welcome to the Hartman Cheese House. This cheese house, which was originally located seven miles down the road in Newville, Indiana, was part of the farm of Adam Hartman. Adam was the son of German immigrants, and he established this cheese house as part of his farm. To run the cheese house for him, he had a Swiss immigrant by the name of Jacob Keller, who actually lived in the cheese house. Typically, the farm ran seven days a week, and 50 to 60 pounds of cheese were produced every day. The main ingredient to making cheese is milk, which the reason they made cheese is they needed some way to preserve it. So what we do first, we get a nice hot fire, and then we swing up our kettle full of milk in there, and we heat the milk up to 91 degrees. And the cheesemaker, Jacob Keller, that lived here, he would have just known that by his finger. He would have stuck his finger in and could tell it's 91 degrees. And after it's 91, then we put in a culture, which we need to some kind of bacteria to uh, react with the sugar in the milk to produce lactic acid, which is the natural preservative in cheese. And that fermentation process takes about half an hour as the lactic acid reproduces itself and gives the cheese its preservative. And then after that, we add some rennet. Rennet is a digestive enzyme from a calf's stomach. And then place that in the cheese, and that makes it solidify. And the milk will turn into, it looks like gelatin. And the cheesemaker would stick his finger in there, and when it would split, he knew it was time to cut. So it maybe set a little bit longer, and it should be fine. And then when he was going to cut it, he used a Swiss cheese harp like this one here. This is what Jacob Keller would have used. And he'd stick it in there and he'd slowly, he would cut the cheese and he'd slice it into little curds. And it looks a lot like cottage cheese. And then he would, he'd put it back on the fire and heat it up to 102 degrees. The reason he would do that, you want his, the curds to sweat out as much whey as possible. Because we're going to be separated to curds and whey. Yeah. And you put it on the fire and you stir it constantly or else you're going to clump. You don't, and you don't want the curds to clump because that won't, they won't release as much whey that way. Then after it's nice and hot, it's 102 degrees, you swing it off the fire again and you continue to stir it for another half hour just to continue to get a nice strong curd. After the curds have been separated from the whey, and they're nice and strong, we take it over to the press here, and we, this here is, is a, called a cheese hoop, and we line the cheese hoop with cheese cloth, and then you place the curds inside here in the cheese cloth. Yeah, so now they actually use a, there's a factory and place a wooden block over it. And they're repressed down with the Actually, press, which weighs about 1,500 pounds. they lay on there for a few hours and flipped and then pressed for a few more. After it's pressed for a few hours, then you put it in the curing room and you cure it for two to three weeks for a nice soft cheese or one to two years for a hard cheese. This brick of cheese weighs about nine pounds. Yesterday, we started out with 10 gallons of milk, which is about 90 pounds of milk. And this is all the cheese we get from it. <laughs>